You may have heard about French Polynesia for its legendary overwater bungalows, but what is so special about the island of Morea? Well, let me show you. To start, the island is full of rugged peaks and beautiful beaches. The water surrounding it is electric blue. If you like to swim, you'll find that the water is home to sharks, rays, and even humpback whales. This week, Nina and I will show you what seven days on Morea is really like. Since we got in late, we needed to spend the night in Tahiti. As we woke up and looked out from our room in the airport motel, Nina and I realized that our once dream vacation was now a reality. Tour of the Tahiti Airport Motel. That's not made because we stayed here last night. There's a huge hill to walk up from the airport. Bathroom, toilet, shower, sink, little flower sticker on the wall. Peeling a little bit, but don't worry. Best piece of the whole <laughs> room. The reason we're staying here is number one, because it's right across from the airport, so very convenient to get to. And number two, it was fairly inexpensive in comparison to a lot of the other options. Because we're doing the Tahiti Multi Islands Pass, it's kind of like your rail, but for Tahiti and with flights. So, and even though you can take a ferry to Moria, it was actually cheaper for us to do this Multi Islands Pass because we're also going to Bora Bora. Yes, good job, good job. If you come here with a husband that carries the luggage, it's no problem at all. If you have to carry your own luggage, there's a lot of stairs and big hills. This is definitely the best view motel we've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Look at just how convenient. Jay's got our bags. Airport is right, right there. You're doing great. You are doing great. Despite the time change and jet lag, Ian and I made sure to get up and out of the motel extra early to have enough time to enjoy a new foreign McDonald's. We almost never eat McDonald's in the US, but we've started this thing where we go to McDonald's every time we're in a new country just to see the different menu items that they have. They have a McMassive, so that's what we're going for to try it. Thank you. Got locally operated, but it's a picture of California. <laughs> that's just oh. so massive. <laughs> Our McMuffin massive isn't looking so massive. Well, everything in the U.S. is massive, so. Good. We were just sitting, enjoying our coffee, and over the intercom, we hear them call our names and let us know that they are waiting on us. So let's see what this is all about. So I don't know if we showed you guys our cool new luggage that we got yet, but there's a front little pouch that pops open, which is great for the laptop that accidentally opened. So they called me up to the counter and had me like, duct tape around it a few times to make sure it doesn't open again. We are about to take off on one of the shortest flights in the world. It's only seven minutes to get from Tahiti to Moria. I'm curious if all these short flights make these pilots better or worse than what they do. dropped off just a little ways away from our Airbnb. We didn't have a good way to explain where it is because we don't really know where it is and she didn't know where it was. I think it's fine. We dropped our bags off at the Airbnb because our room wasn't ready yet. And now we are walking just to go get some food at the grocery store. The local vibe is really fun. I have not stopped sweating since we came out here. I'm gonna do a little tour of the Airbnb slash hostel that we're staying at. Right below us is a full on hostel with like shared dorms and stuff like that. But upstairs, these are the private rooms. So we've got this shared living room, this shared kitchen. Through these doors are two different bathrooms. And then there are three bedrooms up here. So here's our room we've kind of unpacked since we'll be here a full week. Got our bags. And then we are right here. There's our motorbike down there by the road that goes around the island. Downsides of this spot, obviously there's like a shared aspect to it, which for us is actually kind of fun to get to meet other people that are traveling. Also being by the road, we don't really care. We're both great sleepers. There's also no AC, which is pretty common on the island. So it's gonna be a toasty few nights, but we've done van life where we're kind of used to it. You ready for our motorbike ride? Yeah, I'm a little nervous about my sleep. When was the last time we were on a motorbike together? Vietnamese prom. When we started dating, huh? But you weren't driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see how long it takes to drive the whole island. Cause I found my way. Neener. <laughs> we gotta figure out how to open these things so we can drink them. I've definitely decided that I am no longer a flip-flop guy. And I'm gonna be a barefoot guy this entire time. We started there. Oh yeah, we're coming around. We're on the south end now. Look at this cool cathedral we found. I'm gonna play a drone clip right now. We're at a lookout looking 
looking at the soaking home. Also, right next to it is a public beach, which is what we're going to try to find next. The entire island of Morea has these incredible mountains and peaks, some of which are said to have never been summited. But how can we drive the island without checking out the beach? What'd you think? First time in the water? The water is so pretty. I'm excited to come back later this week and swim all the way out pretty far. Really enjoying our first day here. We busted out all of our different toys that we ordered. We have some different filters for our GoPro camera. I don't know if you've seen our proposal video. Everything is just super teal. We want our shots and the to turn out like that. So we have all these like pink, red, magenta filters. And we have this weird space looking thing. Get above and below the water for some really cool shots. It was just a quick pit stop at the beach. Got our gear all situated in our bike, driving with no shoes and wet bathing suits. It's starting to feel like high level for sure. Gas was 1400, whatever the currency is here. And that? divide by 112, that's how much it cost us. You're good to go. I'm trying to figure out how much our gas was. I'll do the math as we drive. Okay, we just finished our lap around the island on the motorbike. That was kind of being picky with what we wanted for dinner. So we ended up back at the market that we were at earlier today with a grocery haul of random sandwiches, a chicken tender and mango nectar and candy and stuff. It took us about two hours and 45 minutes. Our rental bike guy told us we could drive around the island twice on our tank of gas. Definitely not true. We barely made it on one. Our bike is a 50cc. We can only go about 45 kilometers an hour. So we're getting past a lot. But it's still pretty fun to drive. It's good enough to get us around. So we got two candies. It's so good. I got these. Sans gluten. I can assume it's gluten free. Or it means with gluten. It's like a perk. No, Sam. These guys are smelly. And they're good. Good morning, Nina. Good morning. How did you sleep? Good. Today I'm so excited. It's only 6 a.m. but we're going to swim with the whales. So we have the morning to get breakfast, eat lunch, explore, but the day revol revolves around the whales. We got some fruit at a fruit stand yesterday. And look at how cute these little mini bananas are. And we put them in these little fruit baskets to protect them from the bugs. Oh, it's gonna be so good. This morning we are going to take the motorbike out, try to find some coffee and pastries for breakfast. We also discovered as we were driving that coffee doesn't mean coffee. You have to look for a cafe. That's the difference. The moral of the story is the two of us do not speak a lick of French. <laughs> Let's go in the shop. Now we're gonna read for a little bit before we go whale swimming this afternoon. Our mystery fruit is called sour sauce. How'd you find that out? Good. So supposedly a cure for cancer. Oh. Since we're here two weeks, I'd like to think it's inevitable that we will tan eventually. So we're starting off real strong with the sunscreen to make sure it's tan that happens and not burn. All right, where are we going? We are on our way to check in to swim with whales. This is like your childhood dream, right? My adult dream. As you see, we're in Moria and French Polynesia at all for this trip is for these whales. If I had to pick one thing to do in my life and I never get to travel or do another activity again, this would be my one thing. I was so excited for this activity that we ended up going to the beach pretty early, like an hour early. So now we're just hanging out at the beach watching some of these wind surfers, kite surfers. I don't know the difference. Once the morning tour got back, it was time to suit up and head out. Our experience was so incredible that we decided to dedicate an entire video to document the full journey of swimming with the whales. To say this was a once in a lifetime experience is an understatement. We'll leave a link to this video down in the description. Nina and I didn't plan the best after our whale tour. Dinner places are looking pretty slim on a Sunday. I've been driving looking for food a long time. Never been so grateful for pizza in my life. Looks like I picked out two of the local specials on the menu and they both looked Insane. Both have our like Really? Yes. And then fresh pineapple. This has pineapple. After stuffing our stomachs, we learned the hard way that the bugs here love to come out at night. I held two liters of Coke in between my legs as I discovered what it felt like to be a car windshield. Good morning. It's a slightly gloomier day out here in Morea. We are headed off on an island tour. We booked this tour today through Get Your Guide, and it's been so nice to not have to deal with any of the details. So I'm very excited to get to take a break from planning and just get to enjoy. Check me out. Little rain last night. We'd been fortunate to have nothing but good weather so far. 
Also, I was reading up on the island and read a ton about bugs here, so I brought out all the bug sprays. If the bugs are gonna come out, I guess it would be today, because we're also gonna be up in the jungle and in the mountain areas, but we might get lucky and not have to deal with any bugs. Just got on and it is raining hard. They just put down these rain flaps, which they make you think this is going to be the perfect rain. Yeah. Everyone on the tour was extremely impressed wow. by our guide's driving skills as we pulled up to our first stop, Magic Mountain. We drove up instead of hiking it. <laughs> we definitely liked it, but it kind of becomes the vacation spirit. It would have been really easy to stay up there for much longer, but for time's sake, we are off to the next stop. We made it to Belvedere Lookout. It's beautiful but it's rainy and cloudy. We're definitely gonna have to come back later this week when it's sunny and enjoy all the peaks. This next stop quickly became Nate and I's favorite as our guide showed us some freshwater eels. Dang, they're coming all the way up from downstream. I really enjoyed petting them, wow. but Nina got a little nervous. Did you touch them yet, Nina? Don't put your finger in front of the mouth. You do not get electrocuted. Careful stepping back, there's one. He's coming for you, he's in between your legs. Jay, come back, he's after your toes. Our next stop wasn't as pleasant. A long history brief in a dense forest led to Nina getting some mosquito bites. While Nina used some local plant leaves to try and soothe her bug bites, we found ourselves driving through a do? pineapple plantation. This totally helps. Drove past some workers, our guide decided to pull off and score some fresh fruit. Like you take a picture like this, and you hold a pineapple fruit like this. On the island, more there. And we do. It's always yellow cooler. Oh, yeah. That's what we do, uh, milk juice pineapple. After enjoying probably the best pineapple I've ever had, we continued on to happy hour, sampling different drinks at the local juice factory. What are we getting this time? Hogan don't like green juice. Oh, Jay, I didn't want to do it. I can really taste the coconut. Oh, like the Japanese fruit. Also, so good. You can still lick it, so like, how good can you lick it? Ginger a little bit. That's cool. Water melon passion fruit. Now I have tropical peaks. This is what I'm about. You know me, you know I don't like alcohol, but this lychee liquor was really good. And for our last stop, we were able to do some jam tasting as well as learn all about French Polynesia's rare black pearls. We have pineapple, dragon fruit, papaya, soursop, banana. You can see this one is like button. Then the second we Check the pearl After to an see epic the morning adventure, we were pretty hungry. It was time for lunch. Just found our first food. It's cheap and it's massive. And it was good. This is a huge victory. So we just filled up for gas the second time and it was only 500. So we definitely got hoed. We finished with our daily grocery store run before turning in for the night. The next morning, we would go on our last whale swim of the trip. Got home from today's adventures. I feel like we actually had our first affordable meals today. Having a very basic pesto pasta dinner. But that's okay, because we're saving money. I think we're finally kind of figuring out this island. All over Tahiti, they have this like special Tahitian beer. Again, not a big alcohol guy. I realized that I can't say that too many times before it's not true. I had to give this one a try. It's just like a Corona. <laughs> I really wanted ice cream because it's so hot. I was hoping for chocolate coconut ice cream. It's just chocolate in coconut, which still works for me. Immediately disappointed. <laughs> the next morning, we would go on our last whale swim of the trip. Round two, we're walking out. The main difference is we're doing this one at the morning. You definitely won't want to miss the full whale video. The link is down in the description. Give us some flares, lady. Yep. 
some lunch, took a nap, and now that it's the afternoon, we are gonna go back to Balberti Lookout that we went to yesterday to see everything when it's sunny outside. We rented our bike from Moria Fun Bike, and we have loved it. They dropped off our bike here on our first day, and they're coming to pick it up on the day that we're leaving. Super convenient, super easy. A few things we've learned about Moria since being here. Number one, you definitely want a mode of transportation. I'm so grateful to have that because without it, you're kind of stuck to walking and the island's bigger than you'd think. It definitely takes a while to walk places and there's plenty of places you can't walk. We're at Belverde. It was perfectly sunny and now it's raining. Not hard yet, but it is raining. Jay is off to fly the drone. I'm guarding a time lapse that he's got going. Definitely a good viewpoint for a reason. After our events this morning and going to Belverde Lookout, we came to another public beach with this incredible view of Oponomo Bay. And the best part was as we were driving up on our motorbike, we saw whales breaching in the bay. I can't help but stand in awe at the fact that these amazing creatures are swimming just off the coast of the very same beach that I'm sitting at. We love a good tanning session and we're Can on you day not cover your face? No, it's so bright. It's day three of Moria and this is just our first time we're actually laying out in the sun to tan. At the end of our whale swims, they've been giving us this delicious, like, coconut snack. Jay sees a coconut off in the distance. He's gonna go get it. I think he's got no chance at opening it. Bring us a snack. Well, how are you gonna open them? Found some rocks. I think you just go with the eye. Don't stab your hand. What you do? How is there no water? I feel like a fool now, just chopping these coconuts. The sun's going down as we're leaving the beach. We gotta beat the bugs. This is one bug bite. Also one, also one. Looks like a rash. Yeah, I don't know what's happening to me. Even when I get mosquito bites, they do end up something like that, like that size, but this arm is just massive. Nina may also be learning to drive the motorbike. Let's see how that goes. What do you guys think is worse, Nina's bug bite or Jay's toe blisters? Oh yeah. There she is, all grown up. Oh yeah. The speed, the control. What do you think? Do you want to drive me home? No. Are you sure? I'm fine. <laughs> Two days ago, I got these mosquito bites, but today they're blistering. It's something called skeeters, a really severe allergic reaction to a new strain of mosquito bite. So usually I do react really strongly to mosquito bites in general, even back home, but nothing like this. Some of the less fun parts of traveling. Today we are going to kayak to Coco Island to try the snorkel with some sharks and rays. We decided to save money and stop the grocery store for lunch instead of eating at Coco Island even though we have reservations because eating out here was so expensive. So we thought we could do an all day kayak rental here at Tippenier's Beach but they only rent them by the hour and I'm a little bummed because I wanted to spend all day just like paddling and kayaking. We will make the best of it. Even the pups love the coconuts here. Oh yeah. I'd probably throw up if I saw this on someone else. So we cut up one of Jay's socks. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> so I could cover this blister with a sock so it's just not in like direct sunlight all day. You're doing good. You can tell how dramatic I am and how well my pain tolerance is. That looks cool. Am like I covered? Mostly or completely? Not completely. Dental, dental. This guy took my spot. Dude. Now it was time to kayak. It was quite the power to get out here despite the wind, but we made it. We have a little buoy that we tie up to. Now we're getting to enjoy this beautiful water. After tying up the kayak, we saw sharks and rays right away. But we also noticed that they were all heading in the same direction, towards the boats. It was no surprise to find that the reason they loved the spot was because they were getting treats. Who 
our guys were super kind and taught us all about them. We learned that stingrays are super friendly, just like puppies who love lots of pets. On that note, we decided it was time to paddle over to Cocoa Beach. We are on the most challenging and beautiful kayak journey ever. We made it to the Cocoa. Quite water <laughs> Before hopping in the water, we walked around the island to look for the best snorkeling spots. We were pleasantly surprised to find that our paddle back only took us 7 minutes instead of the 30 that we had budgeted for. This meant that we had more time just to chill and hang out on the beach. We are back at our Airbnb. I unlocked our door. I threw our keys in there, threw my jacket in there, came out. Jay went to get in and the door was locked. So we have locked our keys in our room. Today has not been our best day. And I have to say a low light of Morea has been the food. It's hard to find. Grocery stores have a really limited selection and it's very expensive. Today was the first day I didn't braid my ponytail. I'm definitely braiding it the rest of the trip. Look at this knot. There are a few casualties. Oh. We have to hold down this toaster because it doesn't stay down on its own. But for the first time, we actually bought breakfast ahead of time. And you gotta make sure that light's yellow. Okay. I was hoping my blistering bug bites would heal up as we slept last night. It's hard to walk on my right leg because one of the bites is like right in my leg pit. And so bending my leg is super, super painful. Well, you just heard our door slam. That's just because of how windy it is out here. Can't leave any doors open because the wind will just and just slam it. I'm covered up. We don't want to get sun on our sunburns or our blisters. So now we have to wear shirts and long sleeves around. Nina and I made one last trip to the grocery store to stock up on food. That's because midday. Today, we came out to Tamay Beach. We haven't gone out snorkeling yet, but we're about to, because I've heard it's some of the best snorkeling. But the water here, especially with the sun hitting it today, is just the most like electric blue color. I got given a half coconut from a couple that said it was too much for them to eat. And this is like your stereotypical like brown, round, hairy coconut. But the middle has got this weird foam in it. Texture's odd. And inside, the meat is really tough, which we're not used to. So even though we want to enjoy it, we don't really know how. Better not still be wearing this next week in Bora Bora. I already have tan lines from it. Nina and I went for a walk along the beach and I'm always on the lookout for some coconuts. And can you hear that? Sounds like there's something in there. I mean, what's what's the worst that could happen? We get inside here and it's like salt water. No, the worst that could happen is gives you diarrhea. And then we have diarrhea the entire rest of the trip. And that's why people have left them, because they know. They know. When it bakes in the sun like that, it'll give you diarrhea. Nothing. It's just not happening today. So aggravating that I can't get to it. And to end our time here, we mounted up one last time to go and watch the sunset. 
The next day, we would pack our bags and head off to go relax in some of Bora Bora's famous overwater bungalows. If you enjoyed watching or found this video valuable in any way, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch us next time for the next best day ever.